question number 13 and also 12a question number 11. So this is a triangle, uh, this is actually a piece of paper in a triangle shape. Okay, three, four, five triangle, that's a right angle. Okay, and then um, we fold this one, we fold this one so that A goes to B. So the folding question is uh, is, is, is uh, pretty common, okay? So you, you, could, you could think about this, when you fold it, the crease has to fall on the midpoint here, okay? So it's, first of all, this is the midpoint. It has to be the midpoint here, and then, and then the uh, the, the line that's actually the, the crease point, the, the line. So it's actually the perpendicular to AB. Okay, it's supposed to be perpendicular because A is going to meet with B, and then along A and B, it's going to coincide. So the whatever this line is, it has to be a perpendicular line. Okay. So, well, this new line here is a perpendicular bisector of AB. And also, we want to find the length of this guy, right? We want to find the length. Okay, so one thing is uh, you notice that this, this small triangle and the big triangle are similar. So then that gives us the answer to you immediately, okay? So let's find out this, uh, this half of AB is 5 over 2, 5 over 2. So then we have a ratios, right? We have a, a two similar triangles, we have ratios, and then um, the ratio is like this. Three to four is equal to um, to this x, okay, x is what we want, okay, divided by five over two. Okay, so the length x is what we want, and then, <clears throat> then we can solve for x directly. So in this case, uh, what is x? x is gonna be, uh, 3 over 4 times 5 over 2, 5 over 2. So the answer is 15 over 8. So the answer is B.